Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's Joe Crazy. Hi, how are you? Uh, I know I asked that, but it's more about how I'm doing currently. Uh, I don't want to sound selfish by saying that. That's not who I am. I wanted to do something like what's going on, but more on an emotional level, uh, more like how I feel about things. 2021 didn't really start out the way I wanted it to. It, I was very kind of depressed. I didn't feel right in the brain. I was very unmotivated. I didn't really want to do anything. I mean, I still made content. Like I go back and I look and you know at the video logs that I've made videos on the uh, YouTube page, and I'm like, I made content. I played games. I put out videos. But, like, I still didn't do, like, the Heroescape videos. And that's kind of what I wanted to focus on. Putting out Utz Cup 2020 and making this whole big thing about filming all the games consistently and then editing all the games consistently and then make, you know, this big old deal about Utz Cup and how awesome it was going to be. And not to say that it isn't awesome, because the five games that are out currently are amazing. They've come out great, and that's thanks to you, the audience, thanks to me. I have to, I have to put, pat myself on the back for getting it done, uh, at least, and thanking to, you know, thanking my cousin Luke for making the music for it. And you know, I've, I've talked to to my cousin Luke, you know, uh, at a Christmas party recently, and I told him how how thankful I was for him, you know, I don't, I, and I don't know if he still realizes that impact directing and editing those videos didn't really come into flourishing. Like I already had what I wanted to do with Shreb's cup. I had some ideas, but it wasn't, I didn't have that clear vision. It meant a lot to me. Uh, so thanks Luke. That was like the turning point for me. Uh, for when I started, I got the music, I listened to the music, and I'm like, this is it. This is what I needed. This is what I needed to boost my, my, just my creativity and my passion to kick my butt into gear to start working on, uh, the Uts Cup content. And that's, that was the, one of the biggest things that I wanted to accomplish in 2020, uh, and 2021, I wish I got more done. I had a lot of time on my hands that I spent just playing video games that, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't look at video games now as, you know, a much older adult and see them as a, a time waster because I spent a lot of time playing those games with friends. So... I, I take friendship very seriously and I love playing video games or board games with my friends and I got that back this year. I, I was able to play a lot of board games with my friends and we got the group back together and we finished uh, recording Utz Cup this year, which is great. Uh, I think you guys are going to really love the turnout for those games. And even though all of that happened... And I was starting to feel better about myself and my workflow. Something definitely kicked me again. Even though I had COVID and it kind of like went through me. It was fine. It's whatever. And then my mom had gotten it, had gotten COVID and she took a big hit with it. And, but she's fine. She's, she's in good health i'm in good health from at least covid other than i i guess i chocolate doesn't taste right for me i don't know why when, when i after after i had covid months later uh i had tasted chocolate i'm like oh god what is this you know and it tasted like really bad to me um and it still tastes bad to me so i don't know i don't know what that's about maybe my taste buds are just changing I, i'm i'm just unsure And then my cousins got COVID and, you know, after myself and my mom had went through it, you know, our response 
was okay you got covid okay you'll get through this it's fine you know you'll just take your get your rest you know take the medicine just stay indoors you, they can work from home it's no big deal it's whatever and then one night i was playing uh video games with my buddy john and it was a late night and i heard a lot of rustling and talking on the phone and the, the the phone the talking on the phone was getting louder and i opened up the door and i said what's going on it's like late it's like almost going on one in the in the morning and it was my cousin sam calling my mom that uh my cousin stephanie was not breathing and uh he had called um the ambulance to come pick her up and she was unresponsive and they brought her to um the hospital and and they said that she she wasn't breathing for like a while um and uh she was in the hospital for i think it was 2 months and she was she never woke up she passed away about 2 months after that um her birthday was in uh, March of um, 2021 she uh, that was the last time I saw her for her birthday I don't want to dwindle on that too much I just kind of wanted to say that's what happened and it makes me very sad and we are trying to move past that and just keep her memory uh alive and keeping her her what she uh the memories that she left behind with with me and my family i haven't talked about her in a while that hurt it took me a long time to 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 get that back to get to to forget not to forget, but it was something that um, I would go to work because the night the night she went to the hospital, I never fell asleep. I stood up the entire night and I tried to play games and talk to my buddy John. I'm so grateful that he was there for me. Um, I, I went to work the next day because I actually had to get up early. I think I had like an 8 o'clock shift or something. And I just went to work. Worked my entire day. Um, and uh, and after that, you know, two months and she passed away. And then a, two, three, four months down the line, every day, I would be, I would just think of her and remember that Oh yeah, that's that's right. She's not with us anymore, and I would just kind of tear up. Uh, that was tough. That's not easy. No, it is not. All right. So the only thing I can think of right now is to talk about and to get off of that is um, hero escape content. I want to try to make more different types of content. Because, um, I think, I think looking at, uh, video games, looking at video games and how they make, uh, videos, um, so, for example, like, uh, Minecraft has so many different types of content creators, so there's the people that do play survival, there's the people that play creative there's the people that play the adventure games there's people that build maps uh, uh redstone uh videos there is um people that build different game modes for that for minecraft uh texture packs there's a lot of a lot of different content creators a lot of options for con making content 
So I use I use Minecraft as an example because to Hero Escape, because Hero Escape to me has a lot of that type of potential. So you can make maps with Hero Escape. There's storytellers I'm sure out there that would love to make content about different stories within Hero Escape. Uh, very similar to Tales of Valhalla. Um, he does a great job. He, he does stop motion. Uh, there are people out there making battle videos. Had them people just playing the game, and you can do that in so many different ways. You can play different game modes. You can play different maps. Uh, you can play against different people. You can play competitively. You can play casually. You can play custom game modes. Uh, there's there's so much, and then there's the different structures and custom tiles and 3D printing and custom characters. You can make custom characters and you can make, um, you know, do challenges and tournaments on all of those things. You could make whatever. And I just, we haven't seen that yet. People were making HeroScape content when the game came out in 2007 and those people haven't been active in seven or eight years. And yeah, Sir so Hero Escape is out there, thankfully trying to keep the game alive. I wanted to make, con I saw you doing it, and I wanted to make content too. MK Plus Ultra pop up to start making content, and I'm like, this is wonderful. Like, there are more people interested in making content because this is, this is the only way to bring this game back and bring this into the light of more people. And then I found out about 10 Points Under. And he started making content. And his content's a little bit different. He doesn't do live action battle videos. He actually records uh, people play online HeroScape. Like I said, so there's Tales of Valhalla, does, does story with HeroScape. There's Sir HeroScape that he makes a bunch of ch um, uh, battle videos. But... I know he's done tutorials on how to play the game before. He does. He's done custom games. He's tried a lot of different things, and I, I give him a lot of credit for that. And then there's MK Plus Ultra, and he started making battle videos. Uh, I know he did a bunch of box opening videos, which is great because that's another way you can go about this. That's that's a way. As long as you got you got people talking about the game, you get people interested. However you want to do it, that's great. I'm so glad that you're making content for the game that's fantastic and then a couple months ago um my girlfriend was telling me hey you should download spotify there's a bunch of uh podcasts and so i started listening to uh distractible which is markiplier's podcast and i found mr sunday movies and they do the weekly planet and they're talking about movies and then there's another guy named nando and he does movie podcasts so i started listening to uh, his podcast, which is called Mostly Nitpicking. And then I found, I'm like, you know what? I doubt it. I highly doubt it. But let me just type it in. Let me see what shows up. Uh, Heroescape Podcast. Casters of Valhalla. And I go, huh. Let me, I gotta listen to this. And I started listening to it. And... They take their take. Uh, the guy who runs it is uh, Mike um, uh, Orc Elf Army One. And he's got a group of friends, uh, some other people that that play Hero Escape. They take a very competitive way of looking at Hero Escape. They talk about power rankings. They talk about uh, strategies. They talk about uh, army combinations. They talk about um, uh, the meta. You know, when they go to Gen Con, which is a big convention um, that they that they have uh, for HeroScape and other board games. And that's, this is when they a lot of people from around around the U.S. come and play HeroScape competitively and challenge each other for prizes and stuff. And obviously with the pandemic, they they are starting the transition into doing, doing just a, a, a HeroScape only convention called ScapeCon, which I'm I want to go to this year. But anyway, um, so so Mike, uh, Casters of Valhalla, I started listening to their podcast, and they take a different look at the game. And like I said, eventually, and I talk about this in the What's Going On, is I eventually want to make a podcast and, you know, talk about more than just Hero Escape, you know, video games, movies, pop culture, you know, of course, Hero Escape as well, uh, and other board games. So, 
you know, future stuff is, like, super cool. But I'm just talking about, like, right now and how I feel about the Heroescape community. Um, the Discord page, they have a Discord page. There's a Heroescapers website that is just really old and rickety. I, I don't like using it, but I have been using it and trying to gather information about how to find articles and different content that are that's on there. I do want to make a video about just looking for things on the website because I still can't find an article page about the different game modes that they play at uh, Gen Con or Scape Con because I don't... Because the one thing that Casters of Valhalla does, and they talk about the different game modes, um, for example, one of them is called Reverse the Whip. And I'm like, what's that all about? And I'm listening and listening and listening and listening. And I'm like, are they going to explain what Reverse the Whip is? Or like... Because like the only thing I really can understand about it is that it's somebody picks an army and then they trade the armies. So you don't want to make an army that's too powerful, but you don't want to make an army that's too weak. And I'm like, well, that's a cool concept. I'd like to play that. But is that is that what that is? Or I, I'm just unsure. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't know. I, I, I just but I would like to find <laughs> I need to find. Uh, an article page about the different game modes that they talk about. I want to bring Hero Escape back to light. I want to get more viewers to to the game. I want to get more people interested in Hero Escape. Uh, I just want to give an audience to really awesome Hero Escape content and the content creators because this is a really small community. I'm hoping to work with all of the content creators that are out there and try to spread the word of this game it's a really fun one for the ages for all ages it's the battle for all time the battle of all time um last thing i want to mention is uh I, there's actually games that i want to play um uh, single player games and i'm you know more, i mean i've been playing fortnite for a while now uh i've been playing that i got got back into that a couple couple months ago uh, Rainbow Six Siege is... Uh, I like watching it. I like watching Rainbow Six Siege. Playing it? Mm, I, I wish I had more people... I wish I had friends to play with me for that game. I enjoy playing that game a lot. But it's just not... It's not fun playing on your own. Not not that game. Not that game. But single player games. Uh, so right now, currently, I'm playing Five Minutes of Freddy's Security Breach. I'm playing that on Twitch, and then hopefully, uh, this I'm filming this right before Christmas, so I'm hoping after Christmas I go out and buy uh, Halo Infinite. Uh, I had bought it for Glenn's birthday, and he says it's great, so I gotta play it now. <laughs> and usually it's the other way around, where I'm telling him to go buy and play it, but it's... Excuse me. Uh, but it's the opposite now, so it's him playing it and telling me, you need to go play this game. I'm like, okay, good, because I wasn't excited for it, but now I am. I, I do want to play Shape Up. Uh, I gotta get my health, I gotta get myself back in shape. I mean, I got a belly here that I need, I need to get rid of. I got a big belly that I need to get rid of. I've been taking some medicine. I got, I got medicine I gotta take, um, for my triglycerides. My health ain't that great, so... Trying to keep healthy, trying to keep positive, and just keep myself going. I also have VR too. I don't know if you know when wear this here. Yeah, here I got I got a VR headset. I got this big box for the Oculus Rift S, and uh, I've been playing that again. And I have this game called Rec Room. Um, it's a free game you can download. You can play it on mobile. You can play it on Steam. You can play it on the Xbox, PlayStation, wherever you got. A way to play a video game. The game is on there. It's like as accessible as Fortnite is. It's crazy, uh, with the exception of being uh, on VR. So uh, I started playing that again recently, and I'm playing like paintball, and they have like racing game modes, and like oh, like hide and seek stuff. Like it's like fun, goofy stuff. You just chill lounge rooms. So I'd love to kind of like play that on stream too, and record some videos. So. I think that'd be kind of cool. I just, I just really enjoy putting on the headset and just living another experience. Like I'm just not, 
you know, I just I just like the experience of virtual reality. I think it's so much fun. I'm just blown away by it. Like, if you have any questions about, like, why I do certain things and, you know, what's going on, like, why don't you upload more often? I'm like, well, I, do, I put a lot into my editing. <laughs> uh, I do a lot with my editing, and I do have a part-time job. I work at a grocery store. Of course, I try to keep time for my friends and family, and the holidays are coming up, and I got to... Uh, but if there's any way for you to, like, help me, like, f you know, fulfill my dream of becoming a YouTuber and, like, do make content for you guys more often, then, of course, share, like, comment, subscribe. That always helps me. But, you know, you have to think of it as if you're supporting me, you're supporting Heroescape, you're supporting video games, you're supporting, you know, uh, anything, any of the type of content that I make. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it felt really good to talk about all the things I talked about. Just want to be able to way to just kind of talk to you for a little bit. Uh, a little more casual experience. It's been a long year. Uh, so if I could do this more often, they'll be a little bit shorter. Talk about the things. If you have a topic uh, you'd like to talk to me about, uh, some kind of subject matter, then just hit me up. Like I said, comment. I love seeing the comments coming up. I thank you again for joining me and lasting this long through the video. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and don't forget, I'm not crazy. I'm Joe Crazy. Be safe out there. Keep on scaping. Keep on gaming. I love you all. Peace.